you don't want to put a track on that, just shout it out. Okay, so they're saying 45. I'm going to track it at 50 because most of the activity has been moving close to 50, and that's going to give us a better lead time for you folks out ahead of it. So I'm tracking from the circulation, and we're going to go up at 50 miles per hour just to be on the safe side to give you a few more extra minutes. And you can see uh, the communities that will be impacted by You see this Farmington. Now, that's not Farmington in Missouri. That's in Kentucky. You can see Hardin there in Kentucky at 557, Fairdaling at 604, and if it continues into um, Marshall County, or excuse me, Lyon County, it'll be moving into the Eddyville area uh, by 627. So again, there's a track. We're gonna track it at, uh, like I said, 50 miles per hour based on uh, the speed that we're seeing uh, from some of the other storms. I just wanna give you a heads up. This is a very, very sheared environment. So we do have a tornado warning out for Southeastern Graves County, Northwest uh, Callaway County and uh, a good chunk of Marshall County. This cell that we're watching here as well, I want to kind of look at it because it was showing a good bit of lightning earlier. It, it's appearing to be a little bit disorganized still. We'll put the winds on it. Again, we're seeing some gusty winds, which you can attest to when you step outside, but we're not seeing anything that looks like a tornado developing right now with this cell. Um, I'll pan down a little bit more. We'll see if we got uh, near Bloomfield. We've got another cell right here. We'll go ahead and put the winds on that as well to the south of Bloomfield. Again, we're not seeing any rotation right now on radar with that storm. And let me back things out just a bit and see what some of the other storms that are trying to develop to our south and west are doing. Again, we're on the air right now for the tornado warning that's in southeastern Graves County, but I'm wanting to keep track of a lot of different storms that are out there. We have a couple of storms that are trying to develop to the south and west of Weekly County. And then I want to get a, another look at this storm that uh, was just moving out of the Little Rock area because earlier this was pretty intense. Uh, it is still looking a little disorganized, but it's moving into a very favorable environment and it has a little bit of a rotation as well on the mid levels of the atmosphere. And again, that's going to be headed towards the boot heel in about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. So we definitely want to keep our eyes on that storm as well. But for right now, let's get you caught up on the tornado warning that we have in Graves County. Again, the rotations that we see today d will not necessarily be those really tight, intense tornado uh, circulations we've shown you in the past to get down to the surface. This is the type of environment that weak circulations can get down to the surface and the reason we're concerned about strong storms is I want to take this storm as an example. When I say strong storms, I'm talking about strong tornadoes. And let's talk about why that is. Okay, here's the possible tornado. I'm going to walk you through this by looking at the radar. This is a very uh, almost textbook looking cell. We've got a little bit of a curve right here wrapping around. You see that little indention right there? That's what we call the rear flank downdraft. It's coming down on the back side of that storm and it sends winds behind the storm and it wraps up quickly in this type of environment. So even though the rotation itself is not all that intense, although it continues to get stronger, we do see that rotation. Possible tornadoes about to cross Highway 97 to the south and east of Sedalia there in Graves County. So if you live anywhere along Highway 97, Highway 93, uh, you definitely want to be in your safe spot right now. Again, we say a basement if you have a basement. If you don't have a basement, get on that lowest level of your home in an interior room. Put as many walls between you and the outside as possible as we continue to track this possible tornado right here. So what I'm concerned with with these, this activity is we get that weak rotation down to the ground and in a typical environment it would be let's say winds 50 to 60 miles per hour with the tornado. Well this storm's moving at 50 miles per hour so we have winds spinning at 50 as well. Well all of a sudden a weak tornado is now 100 to 110 mile per hour winds because of the forward motion of the storm on the south side of these storms. That's why if we get any what would normally be an EF1, maybe an EF2 type tornado in today's environment with the fast forward speed, the southern edge of that tornado could be much stronger, the EF3 types, maybe EF4. That's why we're really concerned about later on this evening as we get more storms into the area. 
but we do have this possible tornado. This is in Graves County, Kentucky. Again, it's going to be moving to the northwest of Murray, uh, Kentucky. So I know a lot of folks are watching us. Murray State, you've got maybe have some of your, 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 uh, your kids go to college down there and you're kind of concerned about them. It's close. I would say, yeah, stay inside. Get in your safe spot to be on the safe side. You may want to text your, your kids and say, hey, don't go out anywhere until this storm passes. But it looks like this rotation will stay just to the north of uh, Murray, Kentucky. But it will move along Highway 80. It will also move along Highway, um, I'm not sure quite what that highway is. Let's zoom in a little more, see if, it, see if it'll show up because it does look like a major highway there. I see 80, but I want to see what is uh, to the south and east of Farmington so we can see some of these 121. So we've got 80 and 121. They parallel each other. And this is in far western Callaway County. Uh, this tornado is headed here as well. So you can see some of these other places, Bazell Cemetery Road, Stevens Road, uh, Sand Lake Road, these areas, Jones Road. You need to be in your safe spot. This possible tornado will be in your neck of the woods within 10 minutes, more than likely. Uh, Beach Grove Road, State Route 564 South. It is moving into your area right now. Uh, looks like uh, Burnett's Chapel Road. You've got a tornado moving into your area right now. So you definitely need to be in your safe spot. This is the possible tornado right here. It's crossing State Route 381 as we speak. You can see there's an update to the reflectivity. Let's put the winds on. We're tight on this circulation and you can see it right here. There's the possible tornado. Again, it's not extremely strong. We've seen stronger circulations on radar before, but this environment is, uh, is, is prime to get any type of circulation down to the surface. So hopefully we won't see anything touch down with this because again, it's, it is not your typical well-organized supercell, although it looks like it's trying to become that way. And uh, it's probably gonna be with us throughout the next hour or so as it moves across parts of Western Kentucky. I've zoomed out to check out some of the other storms that are forming here. They're struggling in southeastern Illinois. You can see some showers that are trying to develop in southeast Missouri. So far, these are behaving. I think the, um, the warm air aloft, or what we call in the meteorological world, is called a cap. We call it a cap because the warm air puts a cap on the thunderstorm development. As it rises, it hits that warm air, or cap, and then it dissipates. Well, once that cap goes away, it could get real ugly. So we're going to have to watch this closely. I think the way most of our guidance is suggesting a good bit of southeast Missouri may be OK until we get to about 9 to 11 o'clock when this activity that we are watching out to the west moves in. You can see we have some severe thunderstorm warnings near the Springfield area. This activity is rapidly developing, so we're going to be watching that as well. And again, I'm going to keep my eye on this storm closely to see if it gets better. It's getting better organized. So for you folks in Dunkling County and Pemiscot County, this cell is about an hour away, I would say. Uh, let's go ahead and track that uh, because it is getting better organized. And I want to give people as much lead time as possible. So I'm going to put a, uh, a cell track and we're going to go at uh, 50 miles per hour to get an idea. And I'm actually going to go twice. So actually based at 50 miles per hour, it would be in the boot heel in two hours. So we've got two hours to monitor this storm closely, but it is becoming much better organized. As we take a look at the velocity, we've got a little rotation on this as well. Again, this is going to head towards the Jonesboro area of Arkansas and then eventually head into Dunkling County, Pemiscot County and head towards the Madrid area. And that's the area that I'm most concerned with. Most of our guidance suggests that this storm will produce a, a large swath of rotation across our area. So we're going to have to watch that storm closely. So for New Madrid, you got about two and a half hours. Southern Dunkling County, you got about two hours until that storm gets into your neck of the woods. But let's get you caught up to date on the uh, tornado warning right now. Again, it's moving out of Graves County, about to move into northwestern Callaway County. Again, the main circulation for you folks that know folks that are in Murray, Kentucky. I know, there's a, again, there's a lot of folks that have their, their, their kids, their students, their college students. Or, uh, they go to Murray State. There's the tornado. It should be just northwest of the campus. But if, you're, if your kids or anybody you know that goes to Murray State lives just northwest of there, along Highway 121, along Highway 80, 
They need to be seeking shelter right now. Give them a text. Let them know what's headed their way in case they're not monitoring it. We want to make sure that we keep everybody safe in the heartland tonight. So let's zoom in to this possible tornado. And Lisa, if you see anything in the chat or hear anything, feel free to just blurt it out so we can get that information. I know they just updated the warning, but I don't know if we've had any ground truth. You can see there's the possible tornado. It's just to the south of Farmington, Farmington, Kentucky in uh, Graves County, and it's about to move out of Graves County into Callaway County along Highway 80 and 121. There is the circulation. What's that, uh, Kirksey? That is headed right towards you along Highway 299. All these areas I'm mentioning, you need to be in your safe spot right now. That's the basement if you have a basement. If you don't have a basement, we go to the lowest level of our home. We get in a center interior room, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. And that bathroom may not be the best uh, option. If the bathroom is on an outside wall, but that bedroom closet is surrounded, that closet is a better solution than that uh, bathroom. So I just want to throw that out there. Those are the areas we need to be to. There's our possible tornado moving off to the north and to the east and we'll put the reflectivity back on and you can see that hook very well. This precipitation is trying to uh, to wrap around it. I'm going to put a scope on here and look at a couple of other aspects with this storm and uh, let's take a look at this. There's that possible rotation. Well, not possible rotation. That is rotation. Uh, I want to see what the uh, correlation coefficient is showing. Uh, remember I mentioned the uh, the rear flank downdraft, the winds on the back side of the storm. That's what that is, man. We're seeing a lot of uh, leaves and dust and everything being kicked up by the back of this storm with the winds falling out of the back. So there's probably some real gusty winds that are be going into the Farmington area right now with the main circulation staying just off to the southeast of Farmington. I mean, it's close though, Farmington, get in your safe spot. It's about to cross Highway 121 and Highway 80 on the Graves Callaway County line as we speak. Again, if you're just tuning in, this is a tornado warning. We are in western Kentucky in Graves County, moving into Callaway County. This tornado or possible tornado will stay just to the northwest of Murray, Kentucky, uh, but it will head towards the Kirksey area and along Highway 299. And you can see we just got an update. That's an even more pronounced hook that we have here. The precipitation is trying to wrap around that um, circulation. So we're going to go ahead and back things out, get everybody caught up to date. If you're just tuning in, there's some areas that are also seeing some thunderstorms. Want to know what's going on where you are across southeastern Illinois. These are struggling. As a matter of fact, the one that's headed towards uh, uh, Harrisburg right now it has weakened uh, pretty significantly. It looks a lot weaker than it did just a few minutes ago. The shower activity really struggling in southeast Missouri right now. We hope that trend continues, but honestly, I don't think it will. Back to the west, we're seeing severe thunderstorms break out. You can see here, these are going to move towards the St. Louis area. For our neck of the woods, we're going to be watching to see what happens to the east of Fayetteville, Arkansas, over the next couple of hours. And then there's the storm that I'm watching closely. It is becoming much better organized. And a lot of our guidance, our high resolution guidance, has suggested that a significant thunderstorm would develop in northeastern Arkansas and track across the Boot Hill, northwestern Tennessee, and western Kentucky. And that very well could storm. Again, we've got a couple of hours for the Boot Hill. We've got about an hour and a half for New Madrid until that storm makes it into our neck of the woods. But our greatest concern right now is the tornado warning that is near the Murray, Kentucky area. Again, we haven't had any ground truth that I know of. Again, Lisa will shout it out if there's something in there that she sees that is uh, saying that we have a, a touchdown of a tornado. Um, the hook is still there. It is, it, we still see that, uh, that rain wrapping around just to the east of Farmington right here. Again, it has moved into Graves County now and it's crossing Highway 121 as we speak. There's the possible tornado still got that circulation. It's going to be crossing uh, Highway 121 and Highway 80 right now. I want to zoom in even more just out ahead of it. So for you folks that are in harm's way within the next five minutes, the rotation is down here at the bottom. Tucker Garland Road, Potts Road, McAllen Mill Road, all these areas that you see here. If you see your road, Mills Road, these areas you need to be in your safe spot right now. This tornado is going to be 
on top of you in about two to five minutes. So it's crossing Highway 81 right now in uh, Callaway County. So this is that possible tornado. Again, so far we haven't had any damage reports or any ground truth to it, but we do have a pretty, pretty decent rotation right here, right over, it looks like Bazell Cemetery, Cemetery Road and uh, headed right into Sandlick Road, which is just to the south of Highway 121. And then you see Highway 80 here. That's our tornado and it's moving off to the northeast at about, again, Lisa said that the weather service was clocking it at 45. I'm going to be tracking things at about 50 tonight to give you a little bit extra leeway with these storms as uh, the atmosphere is very, very conducive uh, for severe weather throughout the evening. So let's back things up. We zoomed in. We showed you some of the major roads and side roads that we would be concerned with. You can easily make out that circulation. It's tighter now. The circulation is getting stronger. It is tighter. Uh, I'm getting a little more concern for you folks in Kirksey. This is headed right towards you. That is the possible tornado. It is just now crossed Highway 80. So if you live south of Highway 121 in uh, Callaway County or Graves County, the tornado or the tornadic circulation is now to your north. But if you live north of Highway 80, if you live between Highway 80 and Highway 299, you are under the gun right now. This is moving off to the northeast at about 45 to 50 miles per hour. And we're going to be seeing uh, the possibility of a tornado. I'm going to back out just a bit so you can get an idea of how close it is to Murray, Kentucky. Again, we mentioned that because that's one of the busier spots, the more populated spots. And you can see that it is going to stay well to the north of Murray, Kentucky. So if you have or you hear the sirens going off in Murray, uh, the, the tornado will stay to your north. This, tor this tornado will not hit Murray. It will not hit the campus of Murray State. If you live just to the northwest of Murray State, then you still need to be in your safe spot. But the, uh, the rotation is getting a lot stronger over the past five minutes, at least on radar in our eyes. And uh, we'll put that shear marker on right there. And yeah, boy, it is getting tight now. See how the bright red and the bright green are close together? And look how small the bright green is. That is a tight circulation that is forming right now in uh, just to the northwest of Murray, Kentucky. It may be a little too far away to get a debris signature to see if it's on the ground from the radar. Um, well, you know what? If it's strong enough, we could, because I know we got a good debris signature with the tornado in Mayfield a few years ago. Um, but yeah, there is a tight circulation, but I'm not seeing any debris right now. But given the atmosphere that we have, we need to take, just assume that we have a tornado on the ground right now uh, to the southwest of Kirksey there in uh, Callaway County. And for you folks in Marshall County, Southern Marshall County, this is headed your way. So I wanna give you your first alert as well. If you live anywhere along Highway 402 in Southern Marshall County, you're already seeing some heavy rain. You're probably hearing some thunder and lightning. This is not the tornado. The tornado is still about 15 minutes to your south, maybe more like 10 to 15 minutes, but it'd be a good idea to head to your safe spot right now. Same for you folks in the fair dealing area. This possible tornado is headed your way as we speak, and we can see it right there. The circulation is showing up very, very well on our radar right now. Lisa, are you uh, seeing anything in the in the chat room? Not seeing anything in the chat room, but something that we are watching with this is, as Grant, you've been mentioning, that tight couplet of rotation that's really starting to look more prominent now heading into areas of Callaway County. Uh, this could be close to the airport, just off to the east and northeast near Murray. So keep that in mind. Not the best situation that new scans bringing it more now to the southwest of Kirksey. What we've been tracking within this, though, is a lot more lightning. So that's a sign that this storm actually has been gaining strength a little bit as it's been moving off to the northeast. Right now, no reports of a confirmed tornado in the chat, but it is still radar indicated and we'll have to watch that. What makes this so difficult though? It's the nighttime, especially when we continue into the evening hours. Don't try to go outside and look for these tornadoes. If they do develop, you might not see anything at all and that lightning can play a big factor in fooling with your eyes. So we're continuing to track that again. No reports at the minute but not only this storm is what we're going to be watching. That storm that Grant's mentioned, that's been 
off to the south uh, in Arkansas, Little Rock. Mm -hmm. That actually just had a tornado warning issued on that too. So we are going to be watching that cell very closely. That also will be moving off to the northeast and potentially will be making its way into the boot heel within the next 30 to 40 minutes, uh, possibly an hour. So that looks to also impact a similar area. Unfortunately, this tornado warning that we are watching right now that was south of Sedalia now moving into Callaway County. That's the exact same location that saw a tornado touchdown last Monday. So not good news for areas of Kentucky. And really, this is just the beginning of what could potentially be a very active night. We're watching more storms flare up and that cold front is well off to our west. So really, if you are staying in your home right now, tuning into us, please stay alert with us through the night and be aware that there could be many more severe thunderstorms and possibly tornado warnings on the way. Yeah, that's a good point. And, and, and like we said, that storm we were watching has, uh, like you said, become tornado worn to the south. Again, tracking it, it's got about an hour and a half, I think, before it makes its way into the boot heel. But uh, most of our guidance suggests that storm is, could be the storm of the night uh, until the cold front moves in. But we do have that possible tornado to the northwest of Murray, Kentucky. And uh, that was a good point that um, Lisa made about uh, getting close to the airport there, uh, just to the nor northeast, I think, of, of Murray, Kentucky. Uh, just a bit. Um, so if you know where those landmarks are, you know what she's talking about, where we have a tornado. And again, so far we haven't had any ground truth to it, but uh, the rotation is getting tighter. And with that said, we will probably have a new tornado warning issued for Lyon County and uh, Caldwell County if this continues to uh, show signs of circulation. So let's see what the latest uh, circulation is on this storm where that possible tornado is. A very tight circulation right there, bright green right next to the red. That's our possible tornado right there. And it's to the southwest of Fairdealing now. It's in northwestern Callaway County. You can see it's about to cross 299. I talked about 299 in Kirksey about 10 minutes ago and said, hey, get to your safe spot. This is why it is moving into your neck of the woods right now as it continues to move off to the northeast at around 45 to 50 miles per hour. I'm going to let me back things up. I want to put a scope on it, but I want to get the reflectivity on it first. Then we'll put a scope on it right here. Let's put the uh, we'll put the shear on it first. And you can see there's some brighter colors right there. Uh, it looks like that rotation. The tornado has crossed Highway 299. It's on the east side of Kirksey right now. We're going to see if we have any debris signature. We're not really seeing any signs of debris. So hopefully that tells us that this storm is not producing a tornado on the ground uh, because I think uh, there's going to be a couple of houses, something there, some trees that would probably be picked up a little bit of debris if we did have a tornado on the ground. But with that said, we do have a circulation that is strong enough to be concerned with. A possible tornado is moving out of uh, northwestern Callaway County and it's going into southern Marshall County uh, right now as uh, we continue to track this possible tornado. We'll zoom out just a bit. And uh, right near the intersections of 641 and Highway 402, that rotation is going to be headed right to that location. Oh, in about uh, 15, 20 minutes, I would say. We're going to put another track on it. And uh, let me pan things. I may have to pan out a little bit because these are moving so quickly. Let me pan out just a bit. And we'll set the stage to uh, track this off to the northeast at about 50 miles per hour. Again, I'm doing 50 tonight because I want to give everybody enough leeway uh, and I'm going to track it from the rotation, not from the rain. And we're going to be going off to the northeast at about 50 miles per hour. And we'll stop it there. They're, yes. They're you know, it started off 45 miles an hour. You've been tracking it at 50 because it has been moving rather quickly. They've actually, and their uh, one of their most recent updates, brought it down to 40 miles an hour, um, and now they're bringing it moving off to the northeast at 35. So. It's still five miles an hour less, still going to be moving at a rate that could cause great impact for a lot of areas heading into Callaway County. We're talking about right now, it's about seven miles northwest of Murray. So not going to impact Murray, but it is moving over areas just to the uh, north of Kirksey, and that looks to be continuing towards Hardin. So if you're in those locations, that's really where that rotation has been. There's also been some slight indications of hail within that. Nothing that's looking to be too big, but some uh, quarter size 
size hail definitely can be expected within that. Looking to have a lot more strong winds within this rather than hail at the moment, but that rotation has been the continuing concern within this storm as Grant, you've been tracking it on air. Yeah, and it's about, to, like we said, moving to Marshall County again, uh, 35, 45 to 50. Again, I'm tracking this at 50 right now to give everybody Basically, you're getting a decent leeway, so it's probably going to take about eight minutes longer to get to these locations than what you see here. If it truly is, if it truly has slowed down to 35 miles per hour, uh, most of these storms have been going a little faster than that. So that's why I want to be on the safe side and give everybody a little farther heads up. So you can see Fairdaling at about 611, uh, Princeton at 643. And that is going to be probably staying just to the south of Princeton. So this rotation will likely move into, uh, I think that's Todd County. That's just out of our viewing area and then come back into extreme southeastern Lyon County and then uh, southern Caldwell County uh, as it moves off to the north and east. Again, we're probably going to be hanging out with this storm for I would say about another 45 minutes to an hour. There may be a chance that the warning does not go into Lyon County at first. And if that's the case, we'll probably throw things back to catch our breath and get uh, situated. But I know we're about to get ready to roll into the six o'clock news time. But right now, that's not our concern. Right now, we are concerned with a possible tornado that is in western Kentucky that is moving into Marshall County right now, moving out of Callaway County and about to cross Highway 641 uh, near the uh, Marshall Callaway County line as we speak. So I'm going to zoom in. We're going to pop in some roads there. Give everybody a heads up. It's uh, in harm's way. Again, I know a lot of folks that are in southeast Missouri and a lot of southern Illinois right now. You're not getting the storms at this moment. Uh, you probably will. So again, we're going to be tracking a lot of activity across the heartland. We are a very large uh, market. We have a lot of area we cover, and so we want to make sure that everybody in our viewing area stays safe. You can see Hardin here in Western Kentucky. The intersections of 641 and 402. Our possible tornado is right there. I'm thinking it's going to be there in about five to ten minutes. Uh, so you definitely want to be in your shelter. Get in your safe spot. There is the possible tornado right there. It's now east of Highway 299. So if you live west of Highway 299, Callaway County, the storm's gone, at least this storm, the tornado threat is over for the time being. But if you live east of 299 and along Highway 402 and along Highway 647 in uh, Callaway County and in um, southern Marshall County, you are under the gun. You can see Wadesboro Road here, 1346, 962 in southern Marshall County. You are all under the gun with this rotation as it moves off to the northeast. And again, so far we haven't had any ground truth and hopefully that will continue, but we do see a tight circulation and we are in an environment where it is favorable to get these tight circulations down to the surface. So I'm gonna expand things out. We're gonna take a look at the whole heartland again. That storm I was getting a little bit concerned with earlier that was moving into Hamilton County. It's now moving into White County. It has really struggled. So tells me that we still have a decent cap across parts of southern Illinois. That uh, warm air aloft looks like we have a decent cap also across southeast Missouri. Notice the coverage it tries to develop and it just can't. It looks like the cap has weakened across western Kentucky and uh, northeastern Arkansas and uh, lots of severe storms out to our west. Those are rapidly developing, and again, we're going to have to watch these as well. But all this activity will move north of our area. What we're going to be watching is to see what develops down near the Fayetteville area as that will be moving towards the heartland as we head over the evening hours. And then, of course, we're watching this storm right here. I've been talking about that for quite some time. Pretty uh, strong storm. It, it was when it came through the Little Rock area, and it's going to be moving towards Jonesboro, Arkansas, and then eventually moving into the Boot Hill. And we've got some other storms that are trying to develop along this line of uh, confluence where the winds are coming together and uh, they're struggling, but they're they're trying. But again, our main concern right now is for you folks now in um, Marshall County and extreme northern Callaway County. That's where the tornado warning is right now. So we're going to zoom in just a bit and you can see that our possible tornado is getting awfully close to uh, Kentucky Lake here. Uh, near the fair dealing area. So if you know anybody that is staying at the lake this evening or is near the uh, shore of Kentucky Lake in um, 
in the Marshall County area or even for that matter on Kentucky Lake in Trigg County or in uh, Lyon County because it's going to be going in that neck of the woods as well. Give them a text, give them a call, say, hey, there's a possible tornado headed that way right now. Um, there it is. We still got that pretty good circulation there. Again, we haven't had any ground truth that I know of yet, but uh, possible tornado about to cross into Marshall County out of Graves County as we speak. We'll go ahead and put a scope on this as well to get an idea of what's what's going on inside this storm. You can see we'll take a look at the shear. There's the possible tornado right there on the county line as we speak. And um, Lisa was mentioning the hail threat, so I want to kind of look a little bit in here. There could be some small hail in here. There's a little indication there could be some small hail. Not seeing any large hail or, and not seeing any signs of debris. So that's definitely some good news and hopefully that will continue. But we are seeing that possible tornado right here moving into the Marshall County area as we speak. So tornado warning out uh, right now. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to get information on that warning. Let's see if we can pop that up and uh, get that information out. And uh, well, let me uh, let me get rid of the, the toolbar there. You can see here's the tornado warning. It goes out until 615. So the uh, warning goes out for about another 11 minutes. You can see right now in the polygon, there's 15,000 people that are being impacted by this possible tornado. The counties, of course, Callaway County, as we've been talking about, and Marshall County. You can see some of the cities that are listed there as well. Again, this is the only warning we have right now in our area, and we're still seeing that small hook right there into Marshall County. It's going to stay looks like that rotation is probably going to stay just to the south. It's going to be close, though, to you in Fairdaling. So we're going to have to continue to, to monitor that closely as it moves off to the north and to the east. So let's zoom in a little closer to this area and show you places that are in harm's way right now as that tornado or that possible tornado is moving into Harding. As we speak, you can see Highway 6 or excuse me, 962 and Highway uh, 402. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and see if we get any more roads to pop up here. You can see some of these roads that are, that are popping up. I'm going to zoom way into this neighborhood to kind of get you an idea. That is where this is where the possible tornado is moving into right now. So here's the Harding area. You can see Harlan Lane right there. Murray Highway. Uh, we've got a possible tornado moving in there. Tucker Road, Murray Highway, Commerce Street moving right into the Harden area. Uh, Watkins Street. Possible tornado moving into your neck of the woods right now. All these places I'm mentioning, you need to be in your safe spot. Get in the basement if you have it. Looks like that's uh, Curd Road, um, Henry Gordon Lane. All these places you want to be in your safe spot. The basement if you have it. Again, if you don't have a basement, you want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. As our possible tornado is right here and it's moving in across the uh, southern parts of uh, Hardin County as we speak. Still a pretty decent circulation showing up on radar, but uh, so far that I know of, we haven't had any ground truth. Lacey, you got anything else you want to add to this, what you're uh, tracking uh, right now? No ground truth on that still at the moment, but we are at least continuing to track that moving through. Just giving everyone again another alert. We have a tornado watch across the entire Heartland until 11 o'clock tonight. So this is just the beginning of what potentially could be a very active evening ahead. We already been tracking this tornado warning that initially was in Graves County, south of Sedalia, moving into Callaway County and now March. County, so we're still going to track not only this warning, but a, a lot of severe weather that we are also watching just outside of the heartland that's been flaring up ahead of that front in the middle portions of Missouri. There's even been some tornado warnings just to the east of Springfield. We've also been watching a tornado warning on one cell grants mentioned earlier just to the northeast of Little Rock, and that one is moving at about 50 miles an hour. So in about an hour from now, that's going to be very close to some of our southern portions by the boot heel and again, Again, we'll have to watch for in Tennessee as well as Kentucky. Uh, kind of taking a bigger look out, though, if you are not seeing that tornado warning in White County, portions of southern Illinois, this has been weakening a little bit, keeping an eye on it, but it still can produce about 40 mile per hour wind gusts, some heavy rain at times. No hail within this, but again, you're not at least under the threat for this storm looking to be severe at the moment if you are seeing any activity in southern Illinois. We are again still tracking a little bit of lightning, but where that's 
severe storm is going to be focused. That's going to be in areas of Kentucky where Grant's been tracking this tornado warning. Still looking to have that hook shape on it. Again, no confirmed reports as we've been keeping up on anything that's been coming in, but that warning is still going to be continued until 615 as it's continuing to push through the heartland. So only one warning right now. Thankfully, nothing has been confirmed, but we have been watching not only heavy rain within this, a lot of lightning showing that it's strengthening still and remaining to hold on to that strength as well as some small hail possible. Thanks, Lisa. And as we can see, we do have that rotation right over the Harden area. It is broadening out just a bit. Notice how the bright greens have separated just a bit. So we may be seeing a little and it's even broader now. Look at that. Boy, it's really broadening out. So that tells us that the circulation is not as um, tight as active. So if this trend continues, the warning goes out for about another seven minutes. I would imagine that the warning will probably not be continued unless we see it spin up again based on what we haven't had any ground truth and um, also the fact that the rotation has broadened significantly. Notice how the green is a long way away from the, uh, the red now with this system. So uh, we're tracking a possible tornado again. It's moved into um, Marshall County. That tornado, that possible tornado is now out of Callaway County. So everybody in Callaway County, that rotation is out of your area. It is moving to the south side of Fairdale and about to move into Kentucky Lake. But again, over the past couple of scans, at least the rotation has weakened and broadened out. So I'm talking to the folks in the booth as well right now because we got this warning probably for about another six, seven minutes and then we'll be ready to toss things back. I know we're in the middle of our six o'clock show, so uh, you guys will just kind of have to communicate what you want me to do um, when we get the warning is no longer with us, because I do think that this warning will probably be discontinued based on what um, we're seeing here on radar. So again, this was that possible tornado. It is still seeing a little bit of weak circulation going into the Harden area. It is gonna be moving off to the Northeast and uh, we're going to be seeing it move towards Kentucky Lake. Uh, but right now, things, at least on this storm, are improving significantly over the past few minutes. So what are we looking at right now? We got another strong storm that is in Weekly County that is going to be moving out of our area, but then could clip the southern parts of Callaway County. Still not having a lot of activity in southeast Missouri. That cap is still holding on tight, which is some good news. Lisa showed you the storms in southeastern Illinois that are moving towards the Evansville, Indiana area. Those are weakening pretty fast right now. And uh, we've got, we're waiting to see what happens to our south and west. I want to kind of see what's going on on the south side of this. And you can see that tornado warning has been extended. And what I'm seeing on this, and I'm going to stop things real quick, because this is a pretty big storm. Again, we still got time to watch it, but we've got, it's totally wrapped around. We call that a bounded weak echo region, which means that there is pretty significant rotation right there. And the rain is wrapping all the way around where the radar beam hits it. And there's an area where there's a precipitation void because of the circulation. So that's probably a pretty decent tornado that may be trying to develop right here. And that's going to be headed towards the Jonesboro area and then move into our Boot Hill counties again in about an hour or so. The tornado warning is still out for Marshall County. Again, I think that's going to probably be discontinued here in about three to four minutes. And then this is what I'm watching closely. What happens around the Fayetteville, Arkansas area? Because these storms will be moving towards the heartland later tonight. Also, what's going to be happening around the Little Rock area? These storms will be moving into the heartland later tonight. So again, we do think this is going to be a very, very long evening. Uh, there'll be times when we have a lull in the activity, when we don't have any storms or any severe warnings, I should say. And then there'll be times where we probably have multiple warnings. And then there'll be times when we don't have warnings. This is going to be an active night the way it looks right now. And that, of course, is why we issued the first alert action day on Wednesday for today, because we had pretty high confidence that this was going to be a, a significant event. So let's kind of zoom in one more time, take a look at this possible tornado. Again, the reflectivity is not as impressive as it has been. The, uh, the velocity data is really just showing me kind of a gust front there. I'm not seeing much in the way of any rotation in this storm. So hopefully that storm will continue to weaken as it moves into Kentucky Lake. I want to pan down to the south just a bit to the storm that is in eastern 
Um, this is the, yeah, this is what I want to see. Right here to the east of Dredston, we've got some rotation right here. Uh, that storm was looking a little, little more interesting. Uh, pretty strong. We've got a little bit of circulation that's headed towards Highway 54 east of Dredston. This is in extreme eastern Weekly County. It's about to move into Henry County north of Paris, Tennessee. Again, once it moves into Henry County, it's out of our viewing area. But um, that rotation is uh, starting to ramp there, right over Gleason Como Road. Uh, you know, if it were me, if it were my family, I'd be telling them to seek shelter uh, in this type of environment. So if I'm anywhere near Highway 54, east of Dredston, near Gleason Como Road, I'd be getting in my safe spot, getting in the center interior room if you've got one, uh, or a basement even better if you have that. Again, this is moving pretty quickly. It's going to be out of Weekly County, but we do have a rotation that is beginning to develop right now in that area. So uh, let's take a look at the storm where we have that possible tornado warning or the tornado warning still going on for the possible radar indicated tornado. And again, we're not seeing much in the way of rotation with this. And you can see for you folks in Callaway County, the warning's still there, but uh, you're safe. The, the storm's out of Callaway County. Not safe for the entire night, just safe from this one storm. Uh, the winds, yeah, this is very uh, linear. So we have basically a gust front that is moving through fair dealing right now. Not seeing much in the way of rotation on this storm. So I think that uh, we're probably going to be going away with the uh, tornado warning. I don't know if it's going to be reissued. Um, we'll have to watch the southern end of this storm, but that's going to be headed into Todd County, which is not in our viewing area, but could clip Lyon County and Caldwell County within the hour. So we'll be monitoring it for you, even if we uh, throw back to the regular programming here in just a second. So I'm going to be watching to see if a new circulation form on the southeastern side of this storm. But for right now, this storm is looking uh, much less organized. At least the rotation in the storm is looking much less organized. So let's zoom on out one more time and show you everything. Here's that storm I'm watching in eastern Weekly County. It's about to move into Henry County. Uh, we've got more storms that are developing to the southwest of Weekly County. Very little activity in southeast Missouri. That is some good news and hopefully that will hold off and we won't see any storms blossom here. And of course, we've got all those uh, storms to the west right now. But as you can see, the tornado warning has been canceled. We no longer have any. We no longer have any warnings in our area right now. We're going to continue to watch this closely. Before I toss it to break, I want to get one more look at that Weekly County storm to make sure that it's not tightening up any more than it is, or or that it was, and to see how soon it's going to be moving out of the area. Okay, it's right here. It's not a huge circulation. That blue color has decreased, so the rotation is weakened just a bit. I'm going to keep my eye on it for you. It's moving out of Weekly County into Henry County. So right now we have no warnings in the heartland. So at this time, we're going to throw things to break, catch our breath, and come back with the remainder of the 6 o'clock news.